welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. I do not want to be making this video. I really don't. It says, watch out spring breakers. Fake Xanax pill, X-A-N-A-X, okay, the drug, which is 50 times stronger than heroin, kills nine in Florida. It says, fake Xanax known as super pill contains the lethal dose of the pain drug fentanyl. Now, fentanyl used to be just in these patches that, like, um, you peeled off the back, you stuck it on your shoulder or whatever, and it released over time. And it was for cancer patients. My father had them when he was going through chemotherapy. So the drug is uh, 50 times stronger than heroin, 100 times stronger than morphine. Nine people in Florida died overdoses 2016 after taking the killer pills. So this was last year, but it's being reported now. Police issued a warning of spring breakers this year not to buy Xanax on the street. Now, here's the thing. The super pill costs five dollars, okay, which is about you know, Xanax is about three dollars street value, roughly. Um, it's a lethal mix of Xanax and pain medication together, fentanyl. What the fuck? So it says thousands of uh, students descending on spring break are being warned about this. They actually have a, um, a um, picture of the counterfeit in the original. Now the original is a lot thicker when you turn it sideways than the fake is a lot thinner. Now unless you have two of them side by side, you can't tell. Now, here's something interesting. Not this year, but last year when Aaron and I went to Mexico, there was a pharmacist who this year no longer works there. I guess he was fired. And um, he was at one of the pharmacies in Cancun. And we walked in there. And as soon as I walked in, he goes, Senor, would you know, you're looking for steroids. That's the first thing they ask you. And I was filming for my underground. So I said, yeah, let me see what you got. We're going through stuff. And he goes, would you like? And he starts pulling shit out from under the counter, right? And he kind of looks in the back and he looks around. And he goes, whatever you need, I can bring it to your room later. Like, he's saying this shit to us, right? And I'm like, nah, dude, I'm good. You know, fucking, you know, whatever. And he goes, do you want fentanyl? And I said, no. And he pulls out this bottle about this big, this little bottle with little pills in it. I'm assuming it's little pills because there were like 60 pills in this little fucking tiny bottle. And I'm like, wait a minute, fentanyl is a patch. He goes, no, 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 these are popular. The Americans come down here and buy them all the time. Now, in my head, I'm like, Americans, who the fuck is buying fentanyl pills? Like, if you have cancer or something, they're giving you fentanyl patches at the doctor or they're giving you morphine. They're giving you something for your pain. You don't have to go to Mexico to get them. The fucking drug dealers are buying them. They're going down to Mexico, buying the fucking pills, bringing them back. They're crushing them up and putting them in fucking heroin packets. And apparently now they're making these Xanax pills. Now, to make a Xanax pill, you have to have, it's like a, a tablet press. Okay, and it's not like a regular round tablet, it's a Xanax bar. So it's gonna be a very specific press that actually writes Xanax on the fucking bar itself. So they've gone as far as to buy the machines to actually, this has gotta be a big operation. This is not some fucking ring ding asshole in his fucking garage, dosing stuff with some fucking, you know, like dosing the heroin packets with a little bit of powder that he crushed up putting in them. This is on a large scale counterfeit, um, you know, I don't know what you would call it. It's, a, it's, I don't know if you'd call it a business. I mean, or if you'd call it a, um, you know, I don't know what you would call it. I guess you would call it a business. It's a large scale business. If these motherfuckers are producing tablets that, you know, when I took Xanax back in the day, there was no counterfeit Xanax. I mean, it was a solid bar. It was the only thing that came like that. You couldn't find a counterfeit. You'd find a fucking unicorn, Pegasus, and a fucking leprechaun before you'd find a goddamn fake Xanax bar, right? Now they're fucking fake. Now, here's what doesn't make any sense to me why people would like to use Xanax out to party. Now, I used a lot of party drugs when I was younger. Vicodin, Oxycontin, Nubane, heroin, ecstasy, fucking cocaine, you name it, all of them, right? <clears throat> Just didn't do crack or meth. Those two, I, those two really weren't available where I was at, and it didn't seem like it was a good idea. <laughs> like, heroin was a good idea, but, you know, the Xanax itself, like, I took Xanax not to party, but because I couldn't get some opiates and was going through withdrawal, and it put me to sleep. Like, it didn't fuck me up. I didn't feel good. I went to sleep. I was given to a, given it prescribed by my doctor before, again, for anxiety and to put me, put me to sleep. It was not anything I would party with. So why someone would I want to be at spring break trying to be upbeat, partying in? I don't know. Maybe if you could combine it with, I don't think you would combine it with cocaine. I, I don't know. But the bottom line is this shit right now that's hitting the streets is almost impossible to tell. It's, I mean, it's fucking identical. It says, basically, all you got to do is take one and you're fucking dead. That's what the article says. You don't have to take a handful of one. It said, uh, the latest victim um, this past weekend was a 25-year-old woman who died of an overdose um, in Durandon. I'm not really sure what that is. It said that desperately, investigators are desperately trying to track down the dealer and producer of the super pills, but have made no arrests so far. Um, they insist that anyone caught selling these drugs to someone who overdoses will be charged with first-degree murder. Um, shit. It's because they're, they're you know, so 
similar that you actually might, you know, people are not seeking out fentanyl pills. They're seeking out Xanax and getting something else. This is the problem with counterfeit drugs in general. Steroids, you could be looking for DECA, or let's say a woman's looking for Anavar and wind up getting D-Ball. Like, it, you know, because it's, it's packaged differently and it's counterfeit. You're out there looking for Xanax, figuring you're going to get one effect and you fucking overdose and die of fentanyl. And something that strong, it is very hard for them. If they don't get to you in time and get some kind of Narcan in you or something to fucking reverse that, you're dead. And you won't even know it. You'll be at a club, pop this pill. By the time it starts to hit, you won't realize what's going on until you're fucking dead. Like, you won't even realize you're dying. Your fucking systems will just start to shut down. You'll get tired. You'll get sleepy. You'll go to sleep. Your respiratory system will shut down. And that's going to be it. You're going to be dead. So, you know, it's hard for me to, to read stuff like this because, you know, I was wrapped up in a lot of stuff and involved with a lot of stuff. And I saw friends die and I saw friends go to jail and I understand the counterfeit stuff and I understand the, the allure to it in spring break being a young person. But, you know, I can't stress enough to stay away from this shit. I can't. I know that you, most of you are not going to listen to me and it's not going to make a difference. But if one of you out there right now listens to me and sees this video and you're down somewhere in spring break or whatever in Florida and you come across Xanax, if one of you, just one of you say, nah, I'll skip that and have a couple more beers, I have a shot of tequila, this video is fucking 100% worth it. By also training at gmail.com, leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.bustertraining.com is the blog. It's the fucking no fake Xanax. Don't take that shit bicep and we're out.